We are overlooking Elk Creek Valley in southwestern Virginia. Here Olive Porter Scott was born in 1907. Under a Blue Bowl is the story of her life, mostly in her own words, authored by her daughter, Scotty Benkelman Pritchard. The book's title comes from Olive's childhood. Blue Ridge Mountains surround Elk Creek Valley in Grayson County, where she grew up. She thought the sky was a big blue bowl that God turned upside down and rested gently on the mountaintops. It was a perfectly secure world that we cannot imagine now. Nothing harmful could get in and nothing could get out except for the creek. Olive obtained a teaching certificate from Radford State Teachers College and taught in one-room schools in Grayson County for several years in the 1920s. Years later, she returned to Radford to complete her bachelor's degree. She became a social director and house mother at Radford, where she was known as Mommy to one and all. She taught the dormitory girls to knit as World War II began changing the world, and the girls specialized in knitting for Britain. In the early 1940s, Olive moved to the Northern Virginia, where she was guidance director at Mount Vernon High School. There she supported many young students as they went off to World War II. In 1944, Olive married Alvin C. Benkelman. When she was 40, they had their only child, Anne Scott Benkelman. Alvin was a chemical engineer, and his specialty of designing asphalt pavements led them to the Washoe Road Test in Idaho, where he invented the Benkelman Beam, a device still used around the world. They later spent five years in Ottawa, Illinois, where Bank worked on the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials Test Road. That was the Asho Test Road. Olive followed in her mother's footsteps and taught herself china painting. She painted the flowers of George Washington's Mount Vernon on china jewelry and sold her work at Mount Vernon gift shops for more than a decade. Olive also specialized in heraldry and researched and painted family coats of arms on jewelry and larger pieces for framing. Olive taught Sunday school for adults for decades and was an active member of DAR and Zonta clubs among others. In 1960, the family moved to Central Florida because retiring to Florida seemed to be the thing to do. Five years later, the Benkelmans moved again, going full circle for Olive to her beloved Elk Creek, Virginia. Olive was a marvelous storyteller. When she died in 1996, she left more than 50 hours of cassette tapes filled with family stories and a history of a time gone by. Under a Blue Bowl is a fine example of oral history. The book is available through Hills of Home at EmbarkMail.com, $25, which includes postage.